This is uh, your Pellet Stove Master here, and uh, today I want to talk a little bit about auger motors and uh, how they fail and uh, what works the best. Um, sometimes it's not always obvious um, if the auger motor isn't performing correctly. Uh, sometimes it is. I have seen auger motors that the uh, coil windings will short out, they stop, the gears break in the gearbox, and this uh, shaft will stop turning even though the back motor shaft still turns. Um, sometimes the uh, laminations break down on the coil windings, um, they short out, um, or they just get weak and they can't turn the pellets and feed the pellets properly and you may get a lot more jamming. Uh, in this case, uh, what I want to show here is uh, how an auger motor should sound. Uh, this first motor um, does not have the best bearing, it's an older motor, it's got the curved magnets. Uh, and it makes a, a kind of a rattling sound. This cutting board will help to amplify the sound to make it a little bit louder so you can hear it for the demonstration. In the pellet stove it's not on a sounding board so it won't be quite the same. So here's the first motor. As you can hear, it uh, doesn't sound too bad, but it is kind of rattly, kind of worn, dirty, dusty. Um, if, it, if it is uh, jamming and not working correctly uh, or not feeding the pellets correctly, um, I would recommend replacing it, and that's exactly what we did. Uh, when you replace it, of course, always check the auger bushing or bearing to make sure that's clean and um, not gummy or sticky to prematurely wear out an, a brand new auger motor. So let's go to the next one. The next one has a different sound. The... Um, even though it is a better ball bearing motor, it um, makes quite a clanky sound. Let's listen to that. Again, it's, it's still working. It might feed the pellets all right, but is that the way it should be? No, definitely not. So let's go to a nice brand new motor out of the box and um, it's a good good motor, heavy magnets, heavy wire. Um, it's got the uh, four screws to hold the magnet against the gearbox where some only have two screws like this older unit here it's only two screws holding the magnet against the gearbox um, and also the uh, shaft is open on this side here and uh, on this motor the, sh the shaft is closed uh, so it's sealed and it will, no dust or dirt will get in there and it probably will last longer um, just because of that. So let's hear what this sounds like on the soundboard. Let's get this plugged in. And you can hear it's just making some noise but compared to the other two it's pretty quiet so let's listen more it's just humming away lift it up and it's turning and 
you can see it's turning might be turning more rapidly than the one you have because this is a two rpm motor some of them are one rpm some of are three and four and six rpm also i do sell one that's eight rpm <laughs> so here you have it um and when you clean your stove check the motor and see what it sounds like thank you this is your pellet stove master have a good day